Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome back to another episode of Race to 100. I'm Rick Storcell. I'm Neil Patel, and I don't approve of the hat. What? I, I mean, this is this is a all you can Trump buffet. I figured oh. I'd, I'd bring out the Trump support today, and you know, uh, go from there. How long is the uh, Republican National Convention going on for? Uh, so it it's a four day extravaganza. It's all week, basically. Uh, <laughs> That's what it's looked like so far. You know, on my end. and I figured since uh, since the Trump campaign is reusing some of their material from the Obama campaign in two thousand eight, so would I. You know, what's the harm, right? You know, I'm not going to say that surprised me. I mean, <laughs> because when I saw Melania Trump completely plagiarize uh, the words of Michelle Obama back in 2008, I thought to myself, hey, that's something I've never seen before. But then again, they're the Trumps. I mean, they've just been reforming political history as of late. Everything they do is something you know, you've never seen you before. You think about it, it's pretty economic. Yeah, I'm, so, I'm, to, I mean, at the time, were such I mean, and I guess I can't, you can't blame Trump, uh, Trump's wife entirely because it wasn't like she knew necessarily. But don't politicians look over the material their speechwriters give them before they present themselves before the public? So there was an interview with Melania Trump on the airplane shortly after she gave the speech. And she basically said, I, uh, well, she, first of all, she said she wrote it, which is not <laughs> true. I mean, there's no apology. But she said she, she just wrote it. She didn't look over it, a uh, uh, draft or anything like that. She just wrote it, looked over it once, and that was it. So I'm guessing the latter part was probably true, that she just looked over it once. But really, I mean, the staffers who ended up writing that speech probably should have been a little more uh, discreet about their, let's say, uh, I mean, listen. If you're going to copy the word choice, if you're going to copy, uh, and we'll put up, we'll put up the 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 word parallel. That basically, yeah. it's basically identical. Yeah. I mean, you have, yeah. you have similar, this, yeah. these two paragraphs that I, word for word, man. I mean, and if you're gonna, I mean, plagiarize slash copy the words of a first lady, you might as well plagiarize one of the most successful, um, smartest first ladies in American history, <laughs> Michelle Obama. I mean, hey, next, no, to, she is next, to Hillary, Obama, man. next to Hillary Clinton, I mean, she's up there. It wasn't like they were copying uh, Nancy Reagan necessarily or Barbara Bush or even no, Laura Bush. No, I think this I is mean, the best type they, of place. They, went, they, 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 went, they went for the top, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They're going to cheat cheat off the best, yeah. you know? That's what we're learning from this, but it was... Uh, Poor it thing, was, man. It was, it was quite It looks like she has no idea person. what's going on up there. <laughs> Like, it's like someone just said, smile, wave, and be pretty. She's an like, intelligent woman. She's, she knows five languages. That's more than I know. Excuse me? Five, she knows five languages. R really? Yeah, she speaks five languages. She, she's a yeah. brilliant woman. Uh, yeah, I, I, I guess so, but I think just the whole culture of American politics is... is the, the traffic's too fast so for her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she's going 25 yeah. miles per hour politics in lanes that are traveling 95 miles an hour. I'm, so I'm not going to sit here and insult her intelligence, but... I didn't think it was necessarily the smartest thing to copy. <laughs> well, again, Obama's and I don't speech. think that that necessarily had anything to do with her per se. Yeah. I mean, she's not. She, I guarantee you, she did not expect to be the candidate for first lady. I mean, that was not something that was on her a to do agenda. So this is something that more or less she's thrown into. So she, she, um, she's not an American citizen, or she is an American citizen. Uh, you know, I'm not actually quite sure. Because I guess my question is, Donald Trump is unfortunately an American citizen. And the woman he's oh, married is to, he? yes, no, yeah, he is. We know he is. This has been confirmed. He's like uh -huh. the American citizen. When um, when Europeans were coming over and killing off the indigenous people, they were thinking up to themselves like, who is the quintessential um, American? And Donald Trump fits that card, that role, and plays up to it very well. Um, kudos <laughs> to him. But what I'm saying is, I'm curious as to where whether she. Um, She's a legal immigrant of this country or an actual citizen. I'm sure she probably is because she's married to a citizen and she probably was able to escape all the protocol you normally go through to obtain citizenship here, but... Well, yeah, and I mean, she she was a model, right? Well, she's still a model. Yeah. Look, when I see her, I just see you. So, at obviously, that's, people, she's people still who, are, a model. who are in the, still a model. In the white collar... Uh, fields of work tend to have a little easier time greasing the wheels. Yeah. Um, but you know who else was having a really good time with this convention? Your boy, Stephen Colbert. Stephen Colbert is back, man. No, I, I wonder, I wonder. All of that stuff that was happening, trolling Donald Trump, wearing the Hunger Games costume, and just acting a fool in front of all these Republicans and millions of people watching, was that a publicity stunt? Uh, did any, when you saw that, did you think this is a publicity stunt? 
this that is Donald they were, Trump. That they were allowing Donald Trump just being a freaking Geppetto, just making a bunch of like noise at any event that has to do with him. And you know, uh, just to try and get publicity. That exactly. Was, like, some, some way coordinate. Exactly. Knowing knowing Stephen Colbert like I do, he he is the kind to try and break the rules all the time. So I think I think that this was him going off, and they had they had Secret Service escorting him off the stage, which they wouldn't have done if it was a coordinated thing. Because okay. Secret, Secret Service have the have the requirement to protect the venue. So if it was if it was a staffer who came up and was trying to get him off, uh, that might have been different, but they actually had Secret Service. So he just them. ran up on stage and started, started saying what he thought. Oh my goodness. And it, it made an appearance in the late show. We're taping this early on Tuesday mornings. Uh, it made an appearance on the late show last night. They had much better quality footage of, of his whole little rant on the on the stage. But he is back in full force, man. Man, his old personality came back. They brought John Stewart back. It was it was a delight to watch this whole Republican. It's just crazy. Just, I mean, it's just really, crazy it's to watch for television these pop people. stars make a mockery of American politics. I mean, growing <laughs> up. Politics, like you never wanted to talk politics because it was completely boring, like very dry material surrounding your conversations, and it just wasn't the cool thing to talk about. Now, like talking about politics, like is the cool thing to talk about. Like if you're making fun, like yeah, like Donald Trump, like he sucks as a person, he sucks as a politician, but he he seems like a cool dude, and that's what he seems to be happening is he's making the Republican Party cool uh, despite all the craziness that's kind of happening I, I i don't even know what to think i just shake my head in disbelief and i haven't been shaking my head this much in a long time and i'm just kind of like what's next donald trump <laughs> well um, and it, it was it was it was kind of disheartening just watching the the whole speech and, and we'll get into this in in our special two-parter uh for for next episode but I, I, I would much more prefer to watch the highlights and, and watch the professionals do their job at sort of picking apart the things that are worth making fun of because then it just becomes enjoyable and more consumable to, uh, to watch. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more access to episodes of Race to 100. Please let us know what you guys think about the Republican National Convention and all of the crazy stuff that's been happening. I mean, Donald Trump's wife plagiarizing Michelle Obama, uh, Stephen Colbert trolling Donald Trump. Was it a publicity stunt or was it authentic? We would love to hear your feedback. None of this would be possible without the support of our viewers and subscribers. Rick, would you like to add, in, add anything? Uh, we will make America great again on the next Race to 100. Peace.